So if you look at like outcomes data with blood pressure, again, that's based on a very artificial measure of, that may or may not reflect real life response to blood pressure, but usually those are based on, on uh, well done studies that have somebody come into the office, sit still, have three blood pressure measurements, um, five minutes apart while resting comfortably. That may have nothing to do with that individual's blood pressure during the day when they're at work or when they're at play. And um, again, we've never even been able to ask that question to understand that, and now we'll be able to do that. I think we all, we know that anatomically, we all have different innervation to our heart. Um, we all anatomically have some variations um, in, um, in our autonomic nervous system and, and our, our um, respiratory and cardiovascular control systems. We know that we're born with these differences. Um, we also know that we can change those differences over time. So when we're in good shape and exercise every day, when we're not in good shape, um, those change. As we get older, those change. But we don't understand that well enough for the individual. There's enough variation um, over time where we still kind of group everybody in normal vital signs for an adult. And that's so unsatisfying, but that's really the best we can do in the way we measure people's vital signs in that once a year office visit or, or um, that, that setting. And really now we'll be able to understand um, how somebody changes and even something is subtle. We know triathletes do this already, they're real trained. They'll really follow their heart rate response and their respiratory response and their heart rate variability response to, to, for their peak um, exercise. Well, we can do that now with everybody as the, the technology gets simpler and easier to do and, and we can help better understand um, everybody so they can really optimize their quality of life and give them the kind of feedback that they need to do that. Not just treat them with medications but find so that people understand okay this is how I'm different when I make an effort to relax and, and to seek calm. Um, this is how I differ when I get a good night's sleep versus a bad night's sleep. This is how I change um, when I eat um, you know, frosted uh, flakes for breakfast versus eating you know, steel cut oatmeal for, for breakfast. And, and people can understand that for themselves and, and I, I think, even though there's still challenges that make lifestyle changes based on how they understand and how we understand the, that individual variation in their physiology.